Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to pass your C53 license exam. Now, the C53 swimming pool contractor license exam is going to be broken up into a few different sections, including planning and estimating, swimming pool spa shell construction, pool and spa systems installation, non-concrete pools and spas and extra pool spa features, pool spa shell finishing, commercial swimming pools and spas, pool spa repair, renovation, removal, and maintenance, and then of course safety. Now if you're unfamiliar with the C53 license, I suggest you check out our previous video that breaks down the entire license in detail. This video is going to focus primarily on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses under the C-Specialty, you'll also need to pass the CSLB Law and Business Exam. On this exam, you'll be tested on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and public works. So essentially, you'll have to pass two tests, 115 questions of law and business and 115 questions covering swimming pool construction. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, and you'll get three hours to complete each section. It's going to be a computerized exam that you'll take at a CSLB testing facility. So keep in mind, if you're applying from out of state, you will have to come to California to take the exam. Now, we've got a free guide that breaks down the entire licensing process in California from A to Z. Um, it tells you how to fill out the application correctly, bonding, um, requirements, sample questions. You can check that out in the top right-hand corner. Now, the swimming pool specialty portion of the exam is going to cover a wide range of topics, including disinfection agents, water problems, chemical operational parameters, gunite and shotcrete, basic electrical theory and surveying, pool system schematics, you'll want to be familiar with the California electrical code, and then of course safety. Now there's going to be a lot of other things covered on the trade exam. This is just kind of a quick snapshot of what you need to know, but you want to be able to answer a variety of different questions covering swimming pools. Now the mathematics you'll want to have tight, of course you'll want to have your applied math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You want to be able to calculate square footage, you know, obviously there's going to be electrical questions, so you want to make sure that you have your basic, basic electrical math down, units of measurement, and then of course job costing. Now, preparing for your exam, you know, you'll want to make sure that you're tight on your law and business. It's 50% of the exam, so you've got to be familiar with the different types of questions that you could get. You want to have your trade specific fundamentals down and have an idea of the possible questions and the possible areas that could appear on the test. California takes health and safety codes, laws and regulations extremely seriously. So job site safety, environmental safety, water conservation, workers rights, these are all things that California takes extremely seriously. So you want to make sure that you're familiar with this stuff, uh, especially if you're applying from out of state. You want to have your fundamental math skills, so your common equations, formulas, make sure your math skills are tight. Make sure you have test taking experience, online practice tests that are timed with flashcards and explanations to the answers are extremely helpful in giving you context to the test. And of course, you want to have walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors that are helping you decipher the language, um, you know, understanding not only how to pass the exam, but how to run an effective and profitable contracting business in California. All of this is going to be included in our C53 Swimming Pool License Contractor course. You'll definitely want to check that out. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel. And again, my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com. And thanks again for watching.